response our response to a prophetic season or a prophetic word let me begin by saying the following words whenever God wants to do something on earth he releases a divine moist environment kama vile Mungu akitaka I mean mvua ikitaka kunyesha kuna masingara kuna choto aina fulani ambaye inaruhusu mvua Does that make sense Wakati wa kupanda ukifika kuna hali fulani ambaye inaonyesha ishara ya kupanda When God wants to release a word when god wants to do something he creates an environment that is moist i wanted you to switch it off this way means off when god wants to do something he releases an environment that is moist for what he wants to do that environment is called prophetic environment i want you to write that down because it's important Yesterday I introduced to you the importance of knowing that the reason for the prophetic environment or prophetic word is because a prophetic word or environment or season is a heavenly environment released on an earthly location for a divine agenda in heaven for the earth. Sala ya Bwana inasema hivi Ufalme wako uje mapensi yako yatendeke kabla Mungu achafanya mapensi yake duniani kabla ufalme wake haujakuja lazima masingara yaandaliwe conducive for the for the kingdom of God i want you to know that God works in an environment That's why there are principles that informs environment. Look for example, do you realize when God wants to heal, the environment of worship always informs healing. Ukiona kuna worship there is a lot of worship. Ukienda kanisa ama ukienda crusade, na ukute worship is so deep or yourself. Every time you you wake up in the morning and there is an environment of worship or you go to church and you can't control yourself, you you are crying, you want worship to go on, you are deep in worship. When when you when you sense that there are things God is healing in your life. Amen. Worship always precedes healing. Wakati ule unaamka na wimbo, unasikia kulia, unasikia kuna vitu, ujue hata kama wewe si mgonjwa asili. There are things God is healing in your life. And that's why our worship team must be so sober. Do you know the demand of worship is higher than the demand of preaching? Unfortunately, worshipers are trusting God to be promoted to become preachers. Unasikia muimbaji anasema nilikwanga muimbaji na Mungu akaniinua sasa mimi nimuhubiri. There is an environment. Do you realize when God wants to do some things, he triggers an environment of prayer. When you realize God releases prayer, you want to pray, you have a burden to pray. You just want to pray, you lose your appetite for food. You just want to pray. You realize there is something God wants to birth. God works in an environment Now that environment is called a prophetic environment which is conducive for heavenly transactions. Amen. Let me be slow for a purpose. Mungu afanyi mapensi yake duniani dunia ikiwa kwa hali ya kawaida. Sikia Biblia inasemaje? Biblia inasema kwamba Mungu uruhusu mvua kutoka mbinguni inyeshe kwa ardhi ili ardhi iwe tayari kwa mimea kumea sijui kama nimequote your scripture vizuri kwamba Mungu anaruhusu mvua kutoka mbinguni because when the earth is dry in its state it will never grow 
So the rain from heaven, the dew from heaven, moist an environment for growth. Whenever God wants to do something in a man's life, he creates an environment. That's what I want to recommend to you. Going to church must be one of the things you should call must do. Let me prove it to you. Yesu anasemekana alienda kwa ekalu, akapata watu wakiusa na kununua. Akachukua kiboko, akawafukusa wausaji na wanunusi na waliokuwa wanauswa. Wakati walitoka, Biblia nasema viwete, vipofu, wagonjwa na walio na shida tofauti wakaingia ndani na wakaponywa kwa nini alisema hii ni nyumba ya baba yangu ni nyumba ya maombi ni masingara ya uponyaji ni masingara watu wakikuja wanabata afya what affected the healing in that place called the house of god the environment environment now listen it goes back to what i said sometimes back remember everybody carries an environment that's why you must be careful on your friends. Watamungwe, if you become a friend to someone who suffers rejection, before you know it, you feel nobody loves you. You become very sensitive. Somebody asks a question. How do you know somebody suffers from rejection? How do you know? What are the indications of somebody who suffers rejection? Those people who are very sensitive. You see these Mayaish Christians. They are very sensitive. I want a sensitivity I could sense Mungu in situations. They sense situations in opportunities. These people are very touchy. Huku ni salamia naonekana unipendi. Nilingia penye walikuwa nakula, wakawacha kukula, naonekana walifikiri nataka chakula yao. When you see those things, you know, alisalamia huyu, akakumpatia huyu, mimi akaniangalia hivi, these people, when you see you are very sensitive to pettiness, you are suffering from rejection. Either you are born outside wedlock, baba yako waka kureject kabla mimba ijatoka, ama ulipitia shule ulitua vitu, ama ulilewa kwa jamia mbao baba na mama walikuwa na furugu ya vita. So you suffer, ama walikuwa na tarajia mwana ume ukatoka mwana muke, so you, you suffer rejection. So you are very sensitive. Very sensitive. Awa ni watu ambaye kama ni muke wako, ukipikiwa si mchuku wende kando, anataka kuulisa, ni nani huyo? Because kitu inataka kumuambia, unataka kuachwa. Angalewa majirani yako, amekua sensitive. Ukiwana nangalia chini hivyo, imeanza. Very touchy. Awa ni watu ambaye kama ni girlfriend yako, ukimuambia, please I'll call you, I'm busy. Message utapata jioni. Na nimeona, na nimeona, na nimeona, na nimeona, na ninaona vile inaenda, ninaona. Very sensitive issues. So God works in a certain environment. That's why they say two cannot work together. Unless they agree. Let me tell you. Ukitembea na mutu ampaya kona mawaso ya utajiri. Utapata pesa. Ukitembea na mutu ampaya na amini. Kwa ni tofauti ni nini? Wote tutakufa. Tutawekwa kwa futi sita. Kwa nge 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 nge. You know those kind of stupid language. How can you even talk about your grave? Yes. Ati kwa ni nani anajua kenye ni mekula? Siwe unajua? Wale wata nsema, manamuke ni manamuke. Manamuke ni manamuke. Kwa ni? Wenye wako na ya ni wenye wana kwa ni tofauti ni nini? Ni wale watu, ushia wana wale ladies wanasema, what a man can do, a woman can do twice. Muna kumbuka watu we were told the other day. Listen, if you must do what men do, you need the heart of a man. And it's very dangerous to have a woman with the heart of a man. Please girls remain girls. You don't have the capacity, that's why mwanaume akistuliwa na mwanamuke akistuliwa responds to tofauti. <laughs> to see under your direction. Now, God works in a certain environment. That environment is called prophetic. Why is it prophetic? It's because it's, it's a heaven's announcement of what it wants to do 
It's called a prophetic word when it is tailored to an individual. Now, listen to this and don't forget it. Heaven will never perform anything on earth until there is a conducive environment for heaven to work on earth. Amen. That environment is called prophetic. What is prophetic? An intention that is looking for a location for fulfillment. Prophetic means this. Let me give you the word prophetic means. Prophetic means a boy has seen a girl and begin to anticipate on how there will be a family, husband, wife, mother, father. It is in their it is within the man. It is prophetic, it's an intention. It is an intention, it is an initiative. It is a desire that is looking for an environment for fulfillment. It's a seed looking for a good ground to grow. Now, they must be a place that is conducive for the seed. Come with me. If you plant a good seed on a dry ground, how soon will it grow? Did you understand what I said? Ukipanda mbegu nzuri, hybrid. Kwa mchanga enye imekauka, itamea lini? Exactly, that's what I'm saying. A prophetic environment or a prophetic word is when the environment is conducive for the seed to germinate. That's why the Bible says words or the word, the word of God is compared to a seed. Some fell on the roadside. Some fell on a thorny ground. Some fell on a rocky ground. And some fell on good soil. I want you to know right now as I'm speaking to you, your heart is a certain state condition of that statement. You are either rocky in your heart, you are either thorny, you are roadside, or you are a good soil. What is prophecy? Or prophetic season is a rainy season that announces your time for harvest amen. has come. Amen. Say amen. amen. When you see rain, it is a pronouncement of a desired harvest. It's important, therefore, to have a prophetic word when the rain comes, lest the rain comes and there is nothing to grow. So we said yesterday, a prophetic word or a prophetic season is a heavenly environment released on an earthly location to make that earthly location conducive for heavenly intentions. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. Where? On earth as it is in heaven. So when you say let, it simply means you are conducive. Take it to the bank. No, don't take it to the bank. Put it in your heart. God will never perform anything until the environment is conducive. Let me give you one example. Do you realize Malachi says, there are rains that rain. One of the rains the Bible talks about, now, now listen to this. One of the rains the Bible talks about is the rain of blessings. He says, I will open the floodgates of heaven and pour you such blessing that you have no room to keep. Now, kuna mvua ya utajiri. Na niko na wiki ya kuafundisha tu. Sikia, ikisemekana mvua inamanisha, mungu wana kuokoa kwa jasho. Watu wa mungu, wakofu hiko na faida saidi ya kuenda binguni. Kati ya faida ya wakofu ni kulete binguni hapa. Sikia watu wa mungu. Mungu hana tu bingu, hako na mali. Wajeni kulitingisia kichwa na waongelesha. Sikia, bibilia nasema kwamba, mbingu na inji ni mali. Mali ya nani? Ya tia mungu? Mbingu na inji ni mali ya nani? Mnyongeleshe? Mbingu na inji ni mali ya nani? Eh, sema kwa sauti. Mbingu na inji ni mali ya nani? Ati baba yako. Yabu sema kwa sauti. Mbingu na inji ni mali ya nani? Fedha na dahabu ni mali ya nani? 
Ngombe katika milima elfu ni ngombe ya nani? Hebu angalia jirani mwenye anasema baba yake. Listen. The Bible says The Bible says hata baba akiwa na mali kulingana na wakalatia ambaye angetaka watoto waridhi kuna environment ambaye inaruhusu mali hame anasema wakati wote muridhi angali mtoto that environment ya utoto unachelewesha urithi Biblia nasema atakaa kama mtumwa mtumwa ni nani mtu ambaye yako na ya kukula ya kufaa na pa kuishi hana ya kufurahia Hamui atakula nini atatumia nini atafaa nini ataenda wapi anatumia kilichomo e, na najua hawako hapa Kuna environment inaitwa maturity that becomes a conducive environment for inheritance Let's go to Malachi. Malachi anasema, "Mu create environment inaitwa tithe." Na ukisikia mtu anasema tithe ilipitwa na wakati. Muangalie tu maisha yake na uone kama kutotoa tithe kwake anaonyesha talili ya baraka. Kuna baraka ina mbili. Kuna baraka ya kukua nayo na kuna baraka ya kuonekana. Ushaona hii watu ambao hata wakati hawana pesa, wanakaa tu pesa. Ushawahi ombwa pesa na mtu <laughs> na umetoroka nyumbani asubuhi mapema. Msikutane na landlord. Because it listen, when a prophetic environment is there, you don't only have you look like it. How many of you have ever met these people that you just feel like blessing them or staying close to them? Unaona as if wananukia vizuri, unaona ushaona watu mkikaa nao unaanza kushiba. Kukaa tu na wao unasikia tu ra unasikia poa na ukiona jirani yako akuangalia ujue wewe ni kipindupindi wa hiyo neno you know it's called a prophetic environment a prophetic environment is the nowness of god in our time as much listen god lives in eternity we live in on ta- in time now god brings prophetic environment cuts a piece from eternity and brings it to time where you plant in a dry season and harvest more than the rainy season because it's no longer subject to time and season and location it's subject to a heavenly environment mumeshika mpaka hapo haya let's go to today look at the book of first samuel first samuel chapter 10 and those of you who keep coming and missing you you are forcing us to go back and explain things we ought to have moved how to cooperate with the prophetic season look at first samuel chapter 10 look at verse 6 from verse 6 quickly then the spirit of the lord will come upon you mightily and you will show yourself to be a prophet with them go to verse uh, let's begin from verse 4 so that you get the picture this is a young man called Saul a wonderful boy called Saul uh, he was looking for his father's donkeys you remember he was a hustler if you want to use that he was a man looking for his daily now hustler is not political in this manner he was somebody looking for his daily upkeep yule mtu anaamka asubuhi so punda sa baba yake was part of his agenda so at some point punda sikapotea wakati punda sinapotea akaenda kutafuta na, na sikia wakati punda sili, sk, 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 listen wakati punda silipotea akatafuta 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 hapati ingawa Saul alikuwa mtu wa kawaida akauliza isn't there a man with a prophetic network to help us locate Leo simu yangu imenitumia message. Na ikaniambia how to you locate your loved ones. So kuna app nimetumiwa that you sign in and if you want to find out who is where at what time you just key in and it's like kwanza uko kwanza una locate 
Unaona ndio ule ako wa sin. Alafu mpikia simu uko wapi? Na simu inakwambia ndio huyu Island sin ndio huyu anatoka. I looked at it and I realized it's very demonic. That I have to locate where my wife is. Exactly. That's the question. <laughs> but there is a better way. Saul anasema kwa sababu hatupati si punda. Don't we have somebody with a prophetic environment? Atutasaidie kulocate. There is something called prophetic environment. Last week to kill hapa, ama generally. Prophetess Winnie, by virtue of the grace in her life, would call a stranger and say, one, two, three. You, you know, I opened my eyes to see what she was saying. And I would, you know, if those of you watch me, you realize I was smiling and laughing. Because she was narrating people like this, like this. Kuna mutu aliniambia last week, si kuchi? Haka niambia na ukopa huyo mama, si kuchi? Anayasa kuniita mbele na niambia maneno yangu. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Because everybody knows the environment they operate in. Now, she picked somebody. Like, like there's a lady she picked from there and called her here and told her, one, two, three, four. And, and you know, it's, it's, it's an issue I was handling somewhere and I was like, wow. What was happening? She's able to pick in the spirit an environment and locate your situation. Yes. Now listen, you don't need to be a prophet like her. But you can live in a prophetic environment. Yes. That while other people sweat to find their donkeys, you can, you can navigate. Kabla simu ijasema how to find your loved ones. There is a frequency in the spirit. How you can find your opportunities. Listen friends, unazamuka asubui na kusachi ni wa network through prayer. Ni client mugani leo ni tapata biashara. God is my witness. Kuna wakati ni mekuja town. Na, 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 nasikia tu, na, nasikia tu my spirit inasema, usipite your street, usipite ile street, pita ya katikati. And in the process of coming by, I meet somebody I was looking for. And I reduce my two hours into ten minutes. Amen. Lakini kuna pia wakati kichu wangu imekuwa kubwa. Sio sauti na niambia, pita hivi lakini asla, pana. Pita huku ni karibu. Nina kutana na ule mutu si kutaka. Any witness in the house? Wangapuenu yeah. shaske ikiti na kuambia. Muna semanga, something told me. Yeah. That is a prophetic seed trying to grow. Amen. But because the, 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 the flesh is very loud and so dominant and so oppressive and so stubborn, you keep on suppressing. Ukiono okay, unasikia nga iso ma promptings. Kila wakati, kila wakati. You have a prophetic seed. You have a prophetic ministry. Now, if you don't grow it, it will die. And because the Holy Spirit is gentle, if you don't grow it, it will die. So, then uh, you, they went and they said, there's a prophet. There's a prophet called, there's a, there's a prophet. So they went search for a prophet. Whom did they find? Talk to me. Who did they find? Samuel. When they found Samuel, wakamulisa babae. Now, sikia. Na hii ndiyo pepo la simu Afrika wa shindwe. Wakasema atuwezi enda mkono tupu. Because prophetic environment is trickered. Prophetic environment is trickered. My spiritual father taught me, instead of going to your spiritual father for counseling, go with him with an offering. Mwambia baba, nilikuwa nimekuja kukuona, nimekuletea lunch. Usi mwambia shida yako, ukimpeleka hiyo lunch, amekula shida sako. Wana vile muna niangalia? With all due respect, do you know, do you know your pastor carries the grace that makes him enjoy what he's enjoying? There is something called treating with grace. Instead of begging from grace, why don't you connect to grace? Listen to what the Bible says. Do not curse the rich. What is the opposite? Bless the rich. Why? When you bless them, you connect to their frequency that makes them rich. Let me prove it to you. Do you realize as much as God is our provider, he says give. Yes. Uh -huh. It doesn't say beg. 
It says, give and it will come back to you. When God says bring your tithe, he's not begging for support. He's inviting you to surplus. So, so, he went to them and said, hey, man, we lost our donkeys. Can you, can you, can you engage your free spiritual network? So, prophet, I can Google, pum, 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 pum. I can mambi, I naona punda, si mepatikana. Si apatikana. Naona siko home. Yes, si merudi jumbani. Punda si merudi home. Nabi, I meona, aja wai kutana nao iso punda, lakini ako kwa frequency. That's why, listen, prophet's response to our honor. That's why the Bible says if you receive a prophet by acknowledging their prophetic office, uh, we, we are online, I would have said some few things that are so personal on something. I would have said, you would discover, let me use a parable so that you understand. You discover a number of prophets are not honored by their own people. So you find a prophet who is a blessing to the world. But when they go back to their congregation, familiarity, proximity, you realize what Jesus did? He never performed a lot of miracles yeah. in his hometown. See you in the wa Joseph. See you in the middle of the world. You know what Joseph is here. Joseph is here. Joseph is Don't you think that the people who are here are Joseph is here. He 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 is Now listen. It's also said that Jerusalem kills her prophets. You know what Jerusalem means? Home. Jerusalem kills her prophets. Every prophet is rarely honored in their hometown. Now, you realize most people treat their own pastor casually. Your pastor must announce that we have a guest speaker from, you know, Macedonia. So, then Saul said to his servant, but if we go, what shall we bring the man? That's a prophet. The bread in our sacks is gone, and there is no gift for the man of God. What have we? The servant replied, I have here a quarter of a shekel of silver. I will give that to the man of God to tell us our way. Now, if you come from Africa, you think that's buying. That is acknowledging. You only buy if the seller initiated the transaction. You honor if you are the initiator of the transaction. Niki kwambia uninunulia lunch and nikubariki tuko kwa biashara. Ukikucha kuninunulia lunch kwa sababu na nieshimu hiyo ni neema. Formerly in Israel, uh, when a man went to inquire of God, he said, "Come." Let us go to the seer. For he that is now called a prophet was formerly called a seer. Saul said to his servant, well said, come, let us go. So they went to the city where the man of God was. And then as they went up the hill to the city, they met a young maiden going out to draw water and said to them, is the seer here? They answered, he is. Behold, he's just beyond you. Hurry, for he came to the city because the people have sacrificed today on the high place. Wonderful. As you enter the city, you will find him before he goes up to the high place to eat. The people will not eat until he comes to ask the blessing on the sacrifice. Afterwards, those who are invited eat. So, go on up for about now you will find him so they went up to the city and they were as they were entering behold Samuel came towards them going up to the high place now a day before Saul came the Lord had revealed to Samuel in his ear wow go back there the Lord, a day a day before Saul came a day jana Mungu alikuwa mepeana signal kwa prophet kwamba kuna mtu amepoteza punda atakuja. Nasikia 
kama Sauli angetafuta frequency atafute nabii angengangana wiki ngine mbili tatu ine Biblia inasema baba yake alikuwa ameanza kusumbuka kwamba ameenda kutafuta punda sasa baba ameanza kusumbukia mtoto but the signal had already been given Amen. now it was about the time Saul pursued the prophet to find the signal Amen. am i talking to you yes. so now a day before Saul came, the Lord had revealed to Samuel in his ear. Alisikia, kuna vitu, kuna masikia inaitua prophetic ears. And I will show you how to develop prophetic ears, prophetic eyes, and prophetic mouth. Because you need to echo, you need to hear, you need to see, like God sees. So, tomorrow, about this time, this is what the Lord tells a prophet. I will send you a man from the land of Benjamin and you shall anoint him to be a leader over my people Israel and he shall save them out of the land, hand of the Philistines. For I have looked upon the distress of my people because they, are, they cry. Their cry has come to me. When some, now listen, Samuel is looking, I mean, Saul is looking for donkeys. God is announcing a king. Wow. Listen, the boy is looking for donkeys for his father. It's daily business. Mungu anasema nimeona distress ya watu wangu. Na hiyo mtu mwenye atakuja kutafuta punda, ingawa punda inamleta, lakini mimi ndio nimemleta. Kuna mfalme hapo. Look at me. When you work in prophetic environment, in your daily activities, you can meet a divine appointment. Sikia watu wa Mungu. Mungu anaweza kukupata mahali ulipo. If you carry the antenna. Amen. Say amen. amen. The man is looking for donkeys. He is daily hustle. Amen. But God is searching for a king. Amen. Now listen. Saul's opportunity to become a king was not divinely ordained no matter where he is. It was based on where he comes. Come with me. If Saul had not sought for Samuel, would he have become a king? No. So when Samuel saw Saul, the Lord told him, there is the man whom I told you. He shall have authority over my people. Keep going. But listen to me. Don't you think there is a word of God over your life? The only problem is you are in a wrong frequency. Let me give you an indication. How many of you have this feeling in your heart that there is something that is about to happen? Amen. You feel like there's a miracle. You feel like you are waiting for a, a gift. It's like you are waiting for an appointment letter. It's like you are waiting for a phone call. You, you even imagine and it's like there is something coming. Anybody who knows what I'm talking about? There is something in you that says your finances will change. My status will change. You keep dreaming. You walk during the day. You know, you, you, you imagine houses. You imagine opportunities. Anybody? Yes. One day somebody told me, I have a feeling like I'm going to work in an embassy. I have a feeling like I'm going to work in an embassy. Forget about the one we prayed about here. I have a feeling that I'm going to work in an embassy. Wakati anasema hivyo hako polytechnics, yu anasomea electricity, vitu kama hizo. And he wants to be an electrician. But I feel like I can work in an embassy. One day, they were traveling. And guess what? Their vehicle broke down. And then in the midst, unawana ile tuta pia mtu. Apanila kungoja hii matatu. Waja mini charibu bati yangu. Haka simamisha magari. Simamisha magari. One vehicle stopped. A land cruiser. Amen. Guess who was inside? Somebody walking in an embassy. Amen. They talked and they became friends. As I'm talking to you right now. Ako China. Amen. Kenyan embassy. Amen. Ona yo makofi asif munasikia wifu. Amen. So listen. A man can walk in dryness. Because they have not entered into an, a prophetic environment. Mm -hmm. That's why I want to recommend to you. Church must be one of those things that in your list is must do. Amen. Because a prayed environment, a worshipped environment, a preached environment, a, a declared environment is easy to hear God. Listen, it's easy to hear God in an environment that has been prayed, preached, worshipped. 
Are you, you know that in your house. Yes. Amen. Now listen. Saul had been identified as a king. Yes. But he needed a prophetic environment to become a king. Amen. If you don't meet Samuel who is a prophetic environment. Yes. You remain a straggler looking for donkeys. While God is making you a king. And I hear that in my spirit. Amen. There's a number of you who are busy with your donkey. And you know donkey means hard work. Yeah. Donkey means punishment. Yeah. Donkey means frustration. Yeah. Donkey means hardship. Yeah. Donkey means sweat. Yeah. Donkey means ungratefulness. Hata kasi unafanya haikushukuru. Hata haikulipi kitu. Looking for a donkey. But guess what? There is a king in you. Amen. But you will never find that environment in a donkey environment. Amen. Let me give you an advice as a father. Yes. Every morning, find a prophetic frequency Amen. before you go to your donkey business. Yes. Pray before. Amen. Every lunch hour, come and find a prophetic environment. Yes. Come early, pray, worship, praise. And when you come, atakama wele maubiri. Come and worship, come and praise, come and pray. So that as you're going out, you are walking in what you're doing, but you are sensitive to where God is taking you. Watu wa mungu we? Sauli alikuwa na teseka. Na mungu wa mesema we ni nabi. Lakini sikia Sauli. We sikuwa nabi kwa usemu ya punda. Lasima ukutane na nema ya kinabi. I told you this altar is not a church service where we meet every day. It's a place of transaction. That's why tuliwambia, if you want God to bless you, if you have a prayer request, just write it down, come and kneel on this altar, drop it here, or drop it here, we pray on, over it on Friday. During your own time, come and kneel somewhere, come and kneel on this altar, and tell the Lord, Lord, this is a city altar, this is not my local church, this is my place of transaction. Pray. If you want to do a prophetic act, take an offering, come and drop it on this altar. If you want to fast, come and fast. If you want the anointing, there are people who can anoint you here. There is an environment that links you to your divine assignment. Amen. Listen, Saul came near to Samuel in the gate and said, tell me, where is the seer's house? Sikia, Saul and Aulisa, Nabi, Wabi Nyumba, Ya Nabi. Samuel answered Saul, I am the seer. Amen. Go up before me to the high place, for you shall eat with me today. And tomorrow, I will let you go and will tell you all that is in your mind. Amen. And as for your donkeys that were lost, donkeys are always lost. <laughs> so, do not be thinking about them, for they are found. And for whom are all the desires desirable things of Israel, are they not for you and for all your father's house? Quickly, and Saul said, am, am I not a pentamine knight of the smallest of the tribe of Israel? Low self-esteem. Mimi. Mimi. Mimi mtu toko shambako. Mtu wa lubao. Mtu wa nyamira. Mtu wa nyalilbe. Mtu wa kutoka Cup, cup, something. Mutu wa kutoka ichi, 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 ichi. Uko meru inaitwa nini vile chako? Kangeta. That's exactly what Saul said. He says, and is not my family, the least. Muna la umiungi kidion, ati kidion beke aga lesema, I am the least, Saul had the same problem. And you have the same problem. Unajua sisi watu wa chini. Unajua watu wa, sisi watu wa hassle. Sisi wa nyadambi. Yeah, yeah, mungu tuelewe tu. You know, mungu alisema, sema, wana, uniangalie mimi ni kama dudu. Ebu nisajia muambia jirani yako, there is a king in you. There is a queen in you. There is a solution to the nation in you. Come on, tell them there is a prophet to your family in you. I want you to make this resolution. Because you know God and you understand prophecy, your family will never sleep angry again. Your children will never be sent away from school. Your family will not continue in that condition. Make a resolution. I made that resolution 19 years ago and I said, 
I am the end and the beginning of Maraba's family where Bitok as my father comes from. And I say it in the lineage of my family. I am the last in poverty. And I'm the beginning of a new solution. Make that decision. God did not save you to go to heaven. He saved you to save. You are a solution. This nation needs you. Your company needs you. Your spouse needs you. Your generation needs you. Your tribe needs you. Your church needs you. We need you. You are a prophetic being. Forget about donkeys. There is a prophetic word about your life. Rise up in your spirit and let your spirit anticipate. Are you with me? Our time is up. Pick your offerings. I will show you tomorrow how you can sign up that program. Get your offerings. Let me bless it. Did you realize wakati Mungu alimaliza kukuokoa kwenu, aliwacha kuokoa watu wengine kwa sababu muokozi ameokolewa. Unaona wakati Mungu alianza kukubariki, aliwacha kubariki watu wengine kwa jamii yako kwa sababu mbarikiwa amebarikiwa. Wakati Mungu alikuinua, aliwacha kuinua viongozi wengine kwenu kwa sababu kiongozi ameinuliwa. You are more than you. You belong to a generation. May this spiritual spiritual frequency this prophetic uh, frequency may this prophetic words be tailored as your personal words may God say I have found a man I have found a woman in your family, in your business in your generation in your community, in your city if you believe it say amen, amen. get into the prophetic frequency and you know what when the man entered, Aliandua, go to the mountain. Go to, listen, go to the mountain, elevated position, a prophetic dimension. Leave the donkeys. Donkeys don't go to the mountain. Come up. The Bible says when he got there, the spirit of God, the first thing that the Bible says, God changed his heart. He became another man. Number two, the Bible says he began to prophesy. You know what prophesy means? He began to see things now from God's point of view. So he began to say, let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. I can't say, I can't say, solutions and I can't say, prophetic. Macho, I can't prophetic. Maske, I can't prophetic. Receive that unction in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to invite you for our evening service today. We have a wonderful breaking up service. If you have not attended our midweek service, join us tonight from 5.30 to 7. We are here and you are blessed. Tomorrow bring somebody, lift your offerings, let me bless you. If you need an envelope, the ashes are somewhere, you want to give your tithe, your thanksgiving. If you have a prayer request, drop it here while you are living. If you are using your phone, post it on the pay bill, and you are blessed. Lift your hands, we are blessed, Lord. We are doing this in a prophetic environment. We are giving an, an offering on this conducive environment. There is something in our hearts that keep on prompting our hearts to give. I pray that that prompting that, that urge, that, 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 that desire, that, that longing be a moist environment for the seed of destiny that we carry. And may that offering today represent our hearts and our desires and our seasons in Jesus' name. Amen. Love you good people. Bless you.